Hi everybody, it's Trisha Lee. I'm here with my horsey bed, going for a ride, and I'm super excited uh, to tell you guys all about the awesome things that are going on with our companies. <laughs> so, um, I've made some videos before talking about my intention to use horses in our recycle business to pick up uh, recycling. And it's looking more like <clears throat> that is going to become a reality in the very, very near future. I think that I've secured, well I know I've secured the funding that I can use to start uh, picking up recycling with um, a wagon pulled by horses rather than our big stinky diesel truck. Bye bye stinky diesel truck. Oh, I'm so excited. When I, when I bought this company, I immediately outsourced the day-to-day -day operations because I, I thought I love recycling and I wanna be a part of that business. It's important to me. It's always been a passion of mine, um, recycling, but never for a second did I think, did I get excited about the prospect of going around and picking up stinky milk carts milk cartons and bottles and plastics and newspapers it's just like yeah no that's not <laughs> something that I want to do so immediately bought the company hired somebody to uh, do the pickups and I figured out right away well I'm making 18 bucks an hour I can hire somebody and pay them 12 bucks an hour to do this and then I <laughs> Not only am I making money at my full-time job, but I'm making a little bit of profit outside of what I'm paying uh, my employee. So yeah, 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 it was all good. And then I came up with this idea of combining my passion for recycling with my passion for horses and making custom-made lightweight wagons that will pick up uh, recycling and be um, pulled by a couple of Clydesdales. And um, I got permission from City Hall and from the local police force that said that, yeah, there's there's no laws against it. You just have to follow the rules of the road and they have a little safety brochure about um, uh, riding horses or uh, using horses in parades and on streets and stuff and the rules and stuff that go along with that. Uh, also, uh, our insurance company is backing us up with it and our bank and now I have the money so I can go <laughs> purchase the horses, train them, build the custom wagons and start picking up the recycling myself. Uh, that company that I bought a little while ago, it's about to become far, far more profitable than I ever imagined because I know that when people see horses out there on the street, we are going to have a ton, a flood, an absolutely amazing influx of new customers going, hey, I want the horses to stop at my house. I guarantee you that a lot of these retired people that, um, live in our community um they're they're uh they were farmers they grew up on farms um and now they're retired and they're older and seeing horses around takes them make causes this nostalgic feeling that takes them back <laughs> to their childhood when um they got to be around horses every day and they're they're gonna want us coming i guarantee you these little old ladies i've talked to them on the phone and they're like oh no i take the recycling down to the depot myself it's an outing for me because you know i get to go and you know chat with people and see who's there and and whatever <laughs> those same little old ladies those busybody ladies that are going to the recycle depot as an outing to like bother the people that work there with their chit chat about the weather <laughs> those same ladies they are going to be watching like a hawk at their windows looking for me and my horses coming down the road to uh come running out can i give the horsey an apple oh i have i have a little bit of carrots would it be all right if i give this to the horses i know those same ladies are going to be doing that also i know i have this other mission in life that i'm going to be famous i've been saying that since i was a little girl i'm going to be famous i'm going to be on tv everybody's going to know me going to be famous and this is the first step what kind of local celebrity am I going to be when people are cruising around in their cars and trucks and bicycles and they see me coming down the road with a couple of Clydesdales pulling a wagon to pick up recycling? Hello, instant cele local celebrity status. And that will, I guarantee that that instant celebrity status that I'm about to create in the next little while is going to go global in a much shorter time than I'm suspecting. Actually, it's a lot longer time than I'm suspecting because I've been talking about being famous and for pff, 
30 years and I've been making plans for it for over 10 so it's actually taken a lot a really long time but to the people who don't know me now and are, <laughs> will know me in the next couple of weeks they're going to see my ro rocket ship to fame as happening very fast although it's actually been a very slow process <laughs> but once it starts happening it's gonna be fast I am so excited and all of my dreams are coming true and I gotta tell you it's thanks to Project Daywall a, a few years ago oh, I was so hopeless I was addicted to drugs I had like a hellish life that I was going through I put myself through this hellish life because I lost all this money ended up not being able to build my dream home like I was supposed supposed to be and I kind of like fell into this deep dark depression and life was just hard and sucked and thanks to Project Daywall I pulled myself out of it and now all my dreams are coming true and I just cannot recommend their training and their system on the internet enough. It is the best, absolutely the best thing ever, ever. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me ever, bar none. And um, getting this horse was uh, definitely uh, the fulfillment of a lifelong dream but I never got to ride him. I get to ride him every day for as long as I want, whenever I want, now, because of Project AWOL. When I bought him, I was lucky if I got to go out for an hour a week, if that. And so, it's totally changed my life and I can't recommend it enough. If you are not living your absolute most bestest life that you can imagine, if you don't wake up every day and think, I am so glad to be alive! then you need to click the link somewhere below, below this video and find out about Project Dayball and how they will help you design another way of life where you will, you will, like me, get up every day and be like, oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. Rain, shine, snow, hail, whatever they throw at you, uh, whatever nature or the, the universe throws at you, you will enjoy it all to, to the utmost level. Um, living life out loud, full on, and just with zest and passion and zeal is what everyone is meant to do. It's what we're put here to do. And if you're not doing it, you need to get some AWOL into ya and find out how I learned how to do it because I wasn't doing this before and now I am and I'm so happy to share the opportunity with you. So scroll down, click the link, check out Project AWOL. I hope that it does even a, a fraction for you what it's done for me and thank you so much for watching go out there and make it a great day and if i don't see you in the future i'll see you out here in the pasture with my friend red he's got a branch in his face what are you doing red come on let's go let's go buddy see everybody thanks for watching